Okay, so here you can see that uh, I have a three virtual machine, virtual machine one as a master and node one, node two. Okay, I just created virtual machine, uh, then I just uh, changed its name. That's it. Okay, so let me connect my master server first. So then actually we need to do the some configuration. We need to install Kubernetes. We need to install network. We need to install container runtime as Docker. Okay, this all step actually we have to do. So let me remove this first. One, two, three. Okay, let me connect master server first. So for that connect. Connect. So let me connect my second server as well as a node one. Connect. So I will select my node two. Connect. Connect. So now you can see that I successfully connected my three virtual machines. So this is my master, and this is my node one, and uh, this is my node two. Right? Okay. So now I will install. Docker first. First step, we need to install Docker. Okay. To install Docker, to install Docker, we have to execute dm install docker minus y. Okay. So that is installing same as I will install Docker in my second virtual machine in Node 2 because container runtime we required, right? We need to orchestrate Docker. That's what. So I will install Docker in my container 2. So let me just open this and yum <coughs> install Docker minus y. It is installing. So same step I'll repeat in my Node 3 as well. Yum install Docker minus y. End. So now you can see that successfully installed Docker. Let me start my Docker demo. So for that we have to use System Ctl or Service uh, Docker Start command. Okay. So System Ctl Start Docker. I successfully started my Docker service. Same step I will repeat over here. System Ctl. start docker end successfully started in second server as well so now i will start my docker service in node 3 so system ctl start docker end so now you can see that i successfully installed docker then i successfully started docker on my three virtual machine right so next we need to install kubernetes so for that actually we need to download kube admin so that's a utility or framework we can install by using kube admin so we have to search install kube admin install kube admin so let's wait So here you can see that install installing kube admin. So I will just open installing kube admin. Let me refresh this page. It's already timed out. So I'll refresh my page. I'll go to installing Kubernetes for that installing kube admin. Okay. So just come down. So here you can see that uh, at last you'll be have an option. See. Red Hat based distribution. See Amazon Linux. Actually, there is a Red Hat based distribution. That is not a Debian system, right? So I will select Red Hat based distribution. So here you can see that. So we have we have a script pre-defined script. We have to copy this. So basically, this script will do. So uh, what we can call it as this script is a repository script. Okay. So this script will create a repository, Kubernetes repository. Then we will download the like a Kubernetes. So that's what actually I'm just copying this script. Okay. So you can see that. GPG key and uh, so that is going to create a Kubernetes repository. See, so row T E T C M dot repos. So before I'll go to my virtual machine, then I will show you the demo. Listen, listen. I'll go show you the demo. So do so. So M repo list, M repo list under. Okay, how many repo list I have over here? How many repo list I have? Huh? Eh? 
सी एमेजोन लिनक्स टू एमेजोन एक्सट्रैक्स रेपो डॉकर एंड एमेजोन एक्सट्रैक्स फॉर कर्नल बट आई डोंट हैव एनी रेपोस फॉर क्यूबरनेटिस राइट इफ यू वांट टू इंस्टॉल क्यूबरनेटिस सो वी रिक्वायर अ क्यूबरनेटिस रेपोसिटरी ओके सो बाय डिफॉल्ट क्यूबरनेटिस इज नॉट अवेलेबल ऑन एम रेपोसिटरी और एपल रेपोसिटरी सो फॉर दैट यू हैव टू इंस्टॉल क्यूबरनेटिस रेपोसिटरी सो वी कैन इंस्टॉल क्यूबरनेटिस रेपोसिटरी सी बाय द हेल्प ऑफ दिस कमांड जस्ट कॉपी दिस कमांड ओके टिल प्रोसेटमेटर So let me do that. Okay, just enter. Okay, again I will execute. Ah, uh, M Rapolis. Okay, so now you can see that one more repository has been added to my Amazon Linux. What is the repository name? Kubernetes. Sorry, Kubernetes. Kubernetes. Okay, so now whatever the package I want pertain to Kubernetes. So I can directly I can search M space install Kubernetes. That will work. Because Kubernetes repository have been already installed on my Amazon Linux, so I'll go to my second virtual machine. So I'll do the same step over here. I've been already installed my Docker. So here I will install my Kubernetes. For that, paste, and that is going to uh, download the Kubernetes what uh, repository first. Then it will download a Kubernetes package, whatever the required package we need. So same step will I will execute on Node three as well. Paste. बड़ा सर्दी चोर ना ये तो कहीं नहीं टाइम पर ले इनके डाउट नहीं पर ना रहा प्रश्न लाओ शेप्प लेकिन कहीं ना बो एंड ओके एवरीथिंग इज़ ओके ना ओके ओके सो एवरीथिंग इज़ ओके आई गो टू माय नोट थ्री एंड सो सक्सेसफुली वी इंस्टॉल क्यूबरनेटिस नाउ ओके सो नाउ वी नीड टू गो टू मास्टर नोट सो इन मास्टर नो cube adm then init command so we know that docker swam init right so the same command we have to init over here cube but admin init okay cube admin init end and this is going to do initialization and we will be get some configuration link so that we have to execute over here i'll show you that how, how it going to work let's wait wait for a couple of seconds and it will come back one minute you can see that it is started initialization So come down. So you can see that successfully it's initialized, and here you can see that mkdr minus p home cube right. And here is this. They say is like uh, to start using cluster, you need to run the following regular user. So already one user has been created for Kubernetes. We only need to copy this, and we need to give the right permission for the user. Just copy this and paste. Enter. And one more line we have to copy this. Alternatively, if you are the root user, you can. So I'll just copy this. So this is the credential we have to copy and paste. For all time, we have to do the same. Enter. So everything is everything done. So now we have to copy this cube cube admin join link. Then we will copy and paste in our nodes. Then later the node will be joined to our cluster. Just copy this. Copy this. A uh, node. I'll just copy this. Okay. So then I will execute. So how many nodes has been joined to my cluster? For that we have to execute this command. Cube ctl. Then get nodes. So you can see that I have only one node. Node name is IP one seven D two thirty one eighty five eighty nine. So that is my master node, right? I'll go to my second node. I will paste this joining link on my node to ender. Yeah, successfully uh, that is initialized. I'll go to my node three. I will uh, paste over here. Ender. So successfully initialized. I'll go to my node two. Yeah, it is uh, booting. So let's wait. Okay, successfully done. I'll go to my master. Then I will check how many nodes has been joined. So now you can see that two node has been joined to my cluster. So one is my node one. So this is my master. I didn't change my host name. That's what actually we are able to find the host name over here. Okay. So second one is 
my uh, node one again i will refresh and i will be able to find node three as well right and one more thing here you can see that status that is a node ready right so the reason is actually they they doesn't have any sufficient network in between so when we discussed about docker swarm so by default one network has been created what is the network name overlay. sorry overlay. okay overlay network right so by default they can communicate uh, between the containers right so in this scenario okay. kubernetes actually we need to create a network okay so for that we have to search calico network calico it's a kind of network so we have to download the network then we have to paste over here to do that you have to search calico calico for kubernetes so you'll be have first option over here uh, calico for kubernetes uh, you have to download that calico kubernetes download okay so let's open the first link uh, come down so beneath we have an option manifest i'll just click on manifest copy this link so go to your node one and paste again go to calico and we'll be have alternative link to install calico copy this uh, go to your master node and paste over here yeah so now it is installing our network so now i will check whether it is ready or not state okay for that kubectl watch kubectl okay kubectl then get nodes so now you can see that all of my nodes are ready now eh yeah, no, see watch in option da nichile current state kananayitan for example okay so how many seconds over here 51 seconds see current state you can see that okay automatically it will refresh you no need to enter watch if you want to find the current state then you have to enter watch we'll discuss that no worries but at least you have to learn how to install kubernetes first okay so now successfully we